What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Brothers, there is something going on with Brother Jonathan Majors. I think what happened with him is that he got his wake up call and it happens to a lot of people unfortunately in the black community they get into these white industries and um they try to get you know white spouse white girlfriend husband whatever the case is and then they get reminded of who they are and you are always still gonna be black right unfortunately you're black and they're gonna let you know that you're black and so once that wake up call comes down and you have problems in life and somebody in your own community comes to your rescue it is something that is i would say what is the word can we say it is very invigorating very invigorating it, it makes you feel strong it makes you feel healthy it 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 catalyzes you to be with this person because this person is there for you in a time of need remember what happened with him the white lady said that he did x y and z and um like the white lady said he did this and went to court the whole industry turned on him you know the guy didn't have that much that many friends in the industry but then this is this is what happened so after which fellas um brother jonathan majors made this particular video on instagram at an award show in reference to uh dating megan good because she came to his defense after you know after she got dumped by devon franklin and he said this celebrating us celebrate the moves we're making and celebrating the way we love and support each other the way that we shift the world um let's enjoy ourselves so many beautiful black faces i love us y'all we are so beautiful um that's all i got i'm just i'm just happy to be here and and i love y'all so Baby, you want to say anything? Oh, I'm going to jump this Y'all, uh, y'all heard the missus, so that's what it is. So, you heard him say, y'all heard the missus. Okay, y'all heard the missus. So now the reports are, they have actually gotten married. Okay? They've actually gotten married. And, um somebody here dennis byron megan good dash majors congrats i don't know who he is he looks like a corrupt baptist preacher brother dennis byron but anyways that could be a line but let's just say for example that it's true because um he's alluded to that but then that's very quick after she just got dumped by devon franklin like he filed for divorce not her he's happy that she is gone all right that is something that is to be uh considered but let us let us consider this guys i really want to know is he making the right decision because just because somebody is there with you during your time of need it don't mean that they're going to be the best for you in a relationship and making good is older than jonathan majors that's one thing they may be on the same level to a certain degree but megan good has been used to dealing with men who are beta males and so he's already at a strike there. She's older. Then the kind of woman that you might be looking for, like I think a lot of the ladies he might have been dealing with are white women. White women tend to be a little bit more, on average, you know, they defer more to the man. Making good is not gonna do that. And you might need that in a relationship, okay? She's 42, um, you, are, you are 34, so now, after that goes in what, what 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 do you how do you deal with somebody like that who really if you think about it you know probably can't respect you that much in the industry um and and one of the reasons why that person probably cannot is because you're not really their equal and that is something that guys have to consider because you know she just got divorced somebody just dumped her D did she does she know that it's her fault when i hear megan good talk it wasn't like oh i just can't believe he divorced me you know it, it wasn't like she really was remorseful publicly about why she was divorced it was just like wow i wanted to stay married i can't believe he dumped me so he dumps her for a reason 
The issue is, is Jonathan Majors going to inherit all of that bad habits because, well, maybe you feel like she's the one for you. You know, it's a good look because you're in the black community and that is a good look to have a black wife all the time. I'm going to be honest. If you ever want to be in the black world, having a black wife or a black spouse or a black fiance or a black woman, African woman, it helps a lot. It helps. That's if you care. But black business world, black sector world, having a wife that is black is very important. That's never going to change. And I think that's the pivot he's making now. He's pivoting to, okay, I see I can get out of the white sector at all times. Let me get her. But then you're also not thinking about, in my honest opinion, if this woman is ready to be a wife that you need. And I would say that probably no man has ever made her, um, you know, step up to the plate like a wife should. And she's probably not going to do that now. And you're going to have to be okay with that at 42 you're probably not going to see a whole lot of negotiating a whole, and, and this is her last time to have somebody as affluent as him i would think but i would think that they're not going to get back together they're not going to uh, they're not going to last because relationships are very difficult especially with ladies who have already been divorced and they don't feel like maybe they did anything wrong and again I'll, if he left her and i'm talking about devon franklin a tire not going to change their stripes right you're going to be dealing with some of the same problems if not more that he was dealing with and a lot of us as guys we feel like man you know what i ain't even tripping off her bro you know because uh, he had problems with her but that's because he ain't a real man as soon as i get over there it's not gonna be like that man you can keep lying to yourself if you want to dog okay whatever she did over there she gonna do it with you i don't care how you think that much she like you you know a lot of ladies can like you and be feminine towards you and they not gonna give you no respect and making the same mistakes because some other dude said it's okay, all right? You gonna still go through those same growing pains. I don't care how much potential she got. And if you feel like as a man, you deserve, you should be getting X, Y, and Z more, you need to know, player, that you're probably not gonna get that and you're probably trying to make a rush to, to be with her and it might work for a year, but man, do you think that she is built to be a wife for the next 10 years? You know, when she ain't got enough time for you and you both trying to be, compete against each other in the same industry and she's older than you, those things play a role, man, into stuff. And you probably haven't addressed the issues that she had in the relationship because she's probably telling you it's the other guy's fault. And, um, you know, and you haven't been around her long enough to see the problems that she have. And when you start seeing those problems, man, you're like, oh my God, what did I do here? Like, bro, I gotta get up out of here. It always happens when you see a woman, oh, you know what? My last man did this. My last man was like that and wooty woo and here, here and all this stuff. You're like, oh, okay, well shoot. And then you, you not, you're not even thinking about it or even considering the fact, okay? You're not even considering the fact that man, you know, this chick has a lot of problems that she has not thought about and she just brought them all to me. And man, I'm really not in a position <laughs> To be dealing with this man shit i'm really not in that position and, and 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 so you know a lot of guys just don't know they don't think about it until it's too late man and i want all you guys to understand it's good to love somebody and they have your back and all that are they gonna be compatible with you though like real talk are they gonna put in the effort when you don't like something they gonna stop it or when you know when they ask you to do something, you will do it. That's what make relationships work. But being down for you and not being down for you, what you need them to do every day, that's different stuff. If you feel like you need a certain level of respect and they're not willing to give it to you, bro, you can be down all you want and you are not gonna be happy with them. Trust me, bro. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shay Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you deserve the bell. We're out.